balance, courage, and a lot of nerve. Seemingly, people will go to any length to set a new Guinness record. 32-year-old Mike Howard will go to almost any height. He's a recently wed ballooning expert from Manchester, England, and this event has him standing on a razor's edge three miles above the earth. It's Marshall, Michigan at the crack of dawn in the wake of a vicious thunderstorm. Mike Howard is launching himself toward a death-defying altitude so far beyond the reach of other record seekers that the Guinness Book had to create a whole new category, the Balloon Skywalk. We're hoping to set a world record by walking between two balloons on a beam. There is an unofficial record currently set at 12,000 feet and we hope to initially break that record and then go up to 18,000 feet. And between the two balloons, we have this beam, which is 19 feet long, and walk between the two balloons across on the beam. Nice lift off, nice lift off. Under each balloon, propane burners provide the heat for 140,000 cubic feet of air. The pilots must have a trained eye and a split-second response to alternate the use of those burners, or the entire rig will become unstable. Steve Davis commands the crew that includes Mike's new wife, Renee. You just got to burn when Doug tells you to or I tell you to, OK? That's all. She will be co-piloting one of the balloons, and this record attempt has her on edge. The height has me worried the most, how, how high we're going to be. My biggest worry is that everything will go smoothly. I'm nervous about going to 18,000 feet. I've never been that high in a balloon before. I've only been at 7,200 feet. That's burning. I'm nervous enough for everybody. Her husband has his own concerns. Since Mike is holding the 19-foot balancing pole, there's no room for him in the balloon's basket. He must stand on the narrow bar for the entire ascent without a parachute. As Mike and the crew continue toward 18,000 feet, they fight to keep the balloon stable. The biggest risk that we have is that one balloon will climb a lot quicker than the other. And if it gets to be too exaggerated, we, we could create a situation where we have to separate. At 13,000 feet, the air is becoming thinner. To prevent a deadly blackout, everyone has to breathe oxygen from their onboard tanks. If Mike were to black out at this altitude, it would be a certain disaster. As the balloons climb higher and Mike braces himself for the long walk across the three inch wide bar, fear becomes his greatest challenge. Uh, the gut feeling just prior to doing it is probably terror, but I'm scared. I am very scared. It's not uncommon for me to actually get the shakes. At 18,000 feet, the air is so thin that the helicopter blades claw desperately at the sky just to stay aloft. Single engine airplanes would struggle to keep from stalling. Mike Howard is climbing higher. People say, how do you do it at 18,000 feet? Well, anything over 50 feet, if I was to fall, is going to hurt um, and probably result in the same ending. So if I'm at 18,000 feet or 50 feet, same ending, just takes longer to get to the ground. Slow down, slow down. Let's knock up. The balloons have reached their maximum altitude, just shy of 19,000 feet. They cannot climb any further. Mike Howard is about to attempt a Guinness world record. Here he goes. How can they all seem so calm at this moment? You ready, Scott? Anytime you're ready, Mike. Fighting bitter cold and sheer terror, Mike tests the wobbling bar. If he rushes these first steps, they will be his last. Each step away from the basket has to be nerve-wracking. The only thing tethered to the rigging is Mike's balancing pole. That's to keep the 80-pound metal shaft from rocketing toward the earth like a lethal javelin. Remember, no one has ever attempted 
this stunt at anywhere near this altitude. It looks like he's fighting just to maintain his balance now. He's at the point of no return now. No one can help him, and he knows it. He's at 19,000 feet. Here, water condensation freezes on contact. A patch of ice the size of a postage stamp is a deadly hazard. He's made it. But Mike is only halfway to the record. All you gotta do is get back. Careful, please. With no room to turn around, he must walk backwards to the other basket. He's stepping blind on a freezing cold three inch wide bar. I don't know if even Mike anticipated how wobbly this beam would be. This would be difficult enough just between two buildings, much less between two flying balloons. That bar is really shaking. Mike seems less steady now than he has at any point. They're so close. About three feet. Three feet. Well, three feet away now. Look at his feet. He missed a step. Oh, God. He made it! Mike, congratulations. A new Guinness World Record. When I was walking backwards, I was about ooh, four paces from the basket. And I started to get a, a lean to the right, and I couldn't, both my feet were on the right hand edge of the beam, and I couldn't get either of them back, and I could feel myself going and going, and nothing I could do would bring me back. So I then took two or three steps quickly backwards that got me into the basket. You're scared beforehand, you're scared afterwards when you rethink what you've done, but when you're doing the, 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 the walk or the jump or whatever it is, it's, it's, you're concentrating on that, so your fear doesn't play into it. Although the record's in the book, Mike and his crew are still not out of danger. To land safely, they will have to attempt something that has never been done before. Steve leans out to separate the balloons. If the 19-foot beam should pierce one of the balloons, the entire crew would drop like a stone thousands of feet to the ground. Just a second, just a second, make sure everything's stable. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so glad that's done. Oh, I'm so glad you done. <laughs> FYI, Mike Howard's next attempt at a Guinness record, he plans on strapping himself to a chair attached to 700 helium balloons, then lifting himself to a height of three miles above the Earth. We'll be there to see if he can do it. <laughs> 